Wow, that's pretty Christmassy. Thanks, buddy. Yo guys, Jonathan here. Welcome back to a special holiday edition of the best tech under 50. So whether you're in need for a super last minute gift idea or you're watching this after the holidays and need some ideas on what to spend those sweet gift cards on, this has you covered. Now, quick announcement, the shirts are finally here available to pick up. Huge shout out to everyone on Twitter who's rocking them. They look amazing. If you haven't checked them out yet, I will drop a link down below. So first up is the Philips Hue Motion Sensor. And huge shout out to Philips for not only sponsoring this gift guide, but also a really sweet giveaway. So if we can hit 10,000, no, 20, no, 5,100 million likes, or they delete my channel and Ralphie goes homeless, then we can give some stuff away. Or I love you guys, and even if we hit 20 likes, I am giving away some stuff. Now, if you have Philips Hue, the motion sensor is pretty much a must have because it gives you control of your lighting through motion. No talking, no pressing buttons, simply movement. What's awesome with this though is A, it's battery powered so there's no wires, and B, it can also attach magnetically which allows you to place this pretty much anywhere. The ability to adjust it and place it in the optimal field of view for motion is a nice touch, but what I love most about this is how responsive it is. With this, you're not only able to simply turn on lights, but you can also trigger entire scenes with motion. So in this case, if I want something colorful when I walk by, bam. But more realistically, if it were the middle of the night and you wanted something dim, relaxed with no blue tone so it didn't wake you up, you can do that as well. And then conversely, you can set it up to where it will automatically turn off the lights once you leave the room, which is perfect for those who tend to leave those on and drive up that electricity bill. So next up is the Amazon Echo Dot, the tiny baby brother to the Amazon Echo. And this is a great option to either extend Alexa into various rooms in your household, or in this case, if you already have a Bluetooth speaker, you can pair it with that and save some money. If you haven't jumped on the Echo Train yet, it is kind of awesome. Alexa, turn off all the lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on the lights downstairs. Okay. You could also use it to play music. Alexa, play some Christmas music. Here's a station for Christmas music, holiday favorites. Damn, Evans! <laughs> Alexa, stop! For the love of God, stop! You break something! Think he broke his hip! So really not much more needs to be said. It is pretty awesome, whether it's for yourself or someone else and you've been looking to get into the smart home game, this is a fairly inexpensive and also really great way to do so. Now following that, we got a couple inexpensive headphone options, both of the wired and wireless nature. The first of which are the Status BT ones, which are a simple, clean, lightweight pair of wireless headphones that right now are only about 40 bucks. Now these are on your headphones, not over your headphones. So that combined with the fact that they are lightweight, like I talked about, means they're not gonna be cumbersome or feel like they're weighed down after longer periods of listening. What really stands out to me with these though is the sound quality. They're not gonna beat out Bose or Sony in that two to $300 range, but they are definitely gonna give headphones at least twice the price of run for its money, which is really surprising. On the flip side, in the wired world, the Superlux HD 668Bs might be my new favorite headphones under 50 bucks. Right now, these are around 40. They're not the flashiest, they're not the prettiest. They get a little bit bulky with the cabling and everything, but good God, these things sound really good for the price. The build quality isn't phenomenal, but there is a pretty substantial amount of padding, which makes these really comfortable for long periods of time. Now, obviously, if you're on team iPhone 7 or any other phone without a headphone jack, you're gonna need to dongle it up to take advantage of these. But if you do have a headphone jack and you don't have a ton of cash to spend, these are a fantastic pickup. Now next, I'm gonna hand this one off to Miss Crystal Key. Hey guys, so this is the Priva 2 from Aventry, and it's a tiny little device that acts as a multi-point Bluetooth transmitter. And probably the biggest reason why you would want to use this is to send your TV's audio wirelessly to your Bluetooth headphones. So this is perfect for watching movies late at night without disturbing your sleeping family members or maybe even prevent them from disturbing you. And the latency on here is very low too. And from what I can see, the audio looks perfectly in sync and the sound quality is great with it using an Aptix Hi-Fi quality stereo codec. It's very easy to set up too. You can slap it somewhere near your entertainment system, run an aux or RCA cable between the privacy to on your television, and then after that, you can easily sync any pair of Bluetooth headphones or earbuds you already have. Now, you can have the Privet 2 run on a charge or plug it into an outlet or USB port on your TV. 
the best part with using the Privet 2, I think, is that you can hook up two Bluetooth devices and have them work simultaneously. So you can watch movies and shows with a friend, still without any noticeable latency, and both 100% in sync. And you can even use this to turn other devices into wireless audio transmitters, like computers or audio interfaces. And the Priva 2 will only set you back about $50, which is already much cheaper than buying just one good pair of wireless TV headphones. Now next, Google did launch their 4K Chromecast earlier this year, but if you don't have a 4K TV or something to watch 4K content on, then it kind of doesn't make sense. And if that's the case, the regular Chromecast is still a great option. For the most part, you can pick it up on sale for around 25 bucks right now. And if you have an HDMI equipped TV but can't access things like YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu, this is probably the cheapest and easiest way to do that. Going down the list next is the Behold Acoustic Pod, and this is a very simple piece of tech. You place your phone in it and it amplifies things. Now, by no means is it gonna compete or replace a dedicated Bluetooth speaker, but if you want something simple, something you're never gonna have to charge, more importantly, I think it leans to people who tend to use their phones for a lot of conference calls, this is gonna be a simple and effective way to amplify your sound. Now next, I know a ton of you out there shoot video, you take pictures, and with your cameras, you're gonna need media, so I wanted to recommend one of my personal favorite SD cards, the Samsung Pro Plus. These are super fast, which is important if you shoot 4K video, and more importantly, they're gonna allow you to transfer the files to your computer quickly, unless you own a MacBook Pro, then you gotta get a dongle, and that's a whole different story. But either way, this is a super solid SD card. Following that, we're gonna show a little Apple Watch love, and when I first saw this, I was like, holy crap, that is actually a really smart idea. This is an Apple Watch car charger, and I've seen portable Apple Watch chargers before, which kind of really didn't make too much sense, but if you were ever to charge your Apple Watch in a situation that wasn't next to your bed, to me, the car is the perfect scenario. What I like about this is A, it works right out of the box, you're not gonna have to install or buy any extra cables, and B, there is also a USB port, so you're gonna be able to charge your phone at the same time. Build quality is fantastic, it feels really premium, so I've been really happy with this, and whether you've been looking for the perfect Apple Watch accessory for yourself or for someone else, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Next up is the TP-Link Smart Plug, which has quickly become one of my favorite pieces of tech. So theoretically, you could use this to connect to anything in your house, whether it's a TV, speakers, or in my case, I have it hooked up to the tree. I do, of course, have control through the app to turn it off and on, but again, it also does work great with Alexa, Turn the office tree off. Okay. Alexa, turn the office tree on. Okay. The app is clean, it's simple, it's easy to navigate. I love the fact that you can apply different icons to different things in your house. And again, if you own an Echo or Echo Dot, the integration was seamless. Aside from that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go Austin, break that hip Evans on that like button. And as far as that giveaway goes, I am teaming up with Crystal Key. We're giving away an Apple Watch, a Philips Hue starter kit, an Amazon Echo Dot, and a couple of these shirts. Now to enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed here on TLD and then also to Crystal's channel. She just released a really awesome tech guide herself, so check that out as well. It's linked here and down below. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys Later. Woo! Damn that eye though. Alright, you ready to cut? Yeah.